In this lesson, we'll explore how to save and reuse layouts, sections, rows, and modules in Divi 5. This is one of the best ways to speed up your workflow and keep your designs consistent across your site. Let's start with saving. You can save almost anything you build in Divi to the library. To save an entire page layout, click on the Add to Library icon in the top bar on the right. If you want to save a section including all the rows and modules inside it, open the Options menu for that section and choose Save to Library. The same process applies to a row, which will save the row along with any modules inside. And if you want to save just a single module, you can open the Options menu for that module and save it there. When saving, you'll notice an option called Save to Divi Cloud. We'll cover Divi Cloud later in the course, but for now, we'll focus on saving items directly to the library. Once you save something, you can give it a name and even assign it to a category. If you mark it as a global item, any changes you make later will automatically update everywhere that item is used. For example, saving a footer as a global section means that editing it once will update the footer across your entire website. After saving, you can view all your items by going to Divi and then Divi Library in your WordPress dashboard. Here, you will see a list of everything you've saved. Under the Type column, you'll see how it was saved, whether as a layout, a section, a row, or a module. Here you can also import and export designs. Using the Import and Export button in the top, you can export a saved layout as a file and then import that file into another website. This is especially useful if you work on multiple projects or want to share your designs between different websites. Now let's talk about reusing. The way you bring saved items back into your design depends on what you saved. If you saved a layout, you can add it back by clicking on the Add Layout button in the Builder and then choosing Saved Layout. From here, you choose your layout and then you click on Use This Layout. If you saved a section, you can add a new section, then open the Add from Library tab to select it. For rows, add a new row, and then choose Add from Library. And for modules, click on the plus icon inside a column, then open the Add from Library tab to select your saved module. This makes it very easy to drop your saved designs anywhere on your website. For example, you might save a styled call to action section and reuse it across multiple landing pages. Or you might save a testimonial module and place it on different service pages. By combining saving, reusing, and exporting, you can build a design system that saves time, keeps your site consistent, and makes editing much easier. That wraps up this module. In the next module, we'll move into design and branding essentials, where we'll focus on creating a consistent look and feel for your website.